Seven ideas to help school children in Salford return to school. Today I look at seven things you can do to ease the back to school nerves children may be facing ahead of the new academic year. The lockdown and ongoing fallout of the COVID-19 pandemic have been tough for everyone. But it's been especially hard for school aged children. They've gone months without seeing a lot of their friends, have had their routine turned upside down and now face new worries as the schools head back in September. It's going to be a challenging time for parents and kids, but these seven ideas from the University of Calgary in Canada can help ease any COVID-19 concerns that going back into school may bring. Number one, be honest and open. Don't gloss over the facts and be truthful about what children can expect when they go to school, which will look and feel very different to life before lockdown. For younger kids, talk to them about changes in their classroom, how some activities will be postponed until things return to normal, and make them aware that some familiar people may be wearing unfamiliar face masks. Ask older children if they have any concerns or want to talk about the return to school. Number two, make them feel in control. It's empowering for children to feel they can control everything, especially during these uncertain times. Emphasize things they can do to help fight the spread of the illness, like listening to instructions, practicing required social distancing, and probably the best and easiest one to remember, getting into the habit of washing their hands. Number three, name it to tame it. According to the university's report, it helps children to recognize and even name their fears. Speaking about the worry monster or for older children, labeling their worried feelings as anxiety can help them articulate what's on their minds. According to Charles clinicians, naming the fears goes a long way to coping with them. Number four, listen up, put down your phone and listen intently if your child comes to you with concerns. By giving them attention and showing you understand and are with them every step of the way helps reassure them that things will be okay. Children look towards adults for how to behave in certain situations. So think about how you are reacting and be kind to yourselves because it's okay for you to have nerves and worries too. Number five, role play. Play is a big part of the way we learn. So why not try role playing certain situations which your children have identified as worrying to them. By playing out situations and finding solutions to problems in a safe environment, it will help them be better equipped for real life scenarios. Number six, promote the positives. Children have missed out on a lot of things because of COVID-19, but now they have some brighter times on the horizon. Ask them what they are most looking forward to, who or what they have missed the most. And once they've returned to school, ask them what the best thing that happened during the day was. Number seven, and finally, routines re rewards. Of all the tips featured in this article, the authors of the University of Calgary report said that establishing a back to school routine is perhaps the most vital. You can build up a sense of calm and control in your children by having routine around meals and setting regular times for going to bed and waking up. Ideally, start this at, the, at least a week before the school's return. At Oliver James, we see our role in the community. We serve as being more than about helping people move and find homes. That's why we often publish these videos and articles, which have nothing to do with the state agency, but everything to do with offering help and advice to the people, young and old, of Salford. Thanks for watching. Keep well, stay safe, and I'll catch you on the next one.